Yeah, always kind of had dogs and horses around me and obviously working with livestock, good memories I suppose. You do your schoolwork but then you knock off and run out, go play with your dog or hop on your horse in lunchtime and um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing lifestyle. Nowadays, she lives and works here, running stock across dry and dusty plains. But Lily wouldn't have it any other way. I really enjoy being busy and doing and getting things done. I find that very satisfying, yeah. The idea of sitting behind a desk wouldn't really do it for me. Lily's put her university plans on hold in favour of working the land. Initially I was planning to go to uni doing vet science, but probably haven't definitely abandoned the idea of uni. I might come back to it if I feel it, but I'm yeah, just enjoying what I'm doing now. As well as an accomplished livestock trainer, Lily's a gifted horse handler and an excellent dog trainer. She got her first working dog when she was seven and has been attending dog training school since she was 11 years old. Daddy, sit down, sit. Um, so I got into working with dogs through my mum, I suppose, because I grew up around working dogs. You really nice on a day where you don't have your dog with you for some reason that, yeah, you feel quite naked and useless, really. Like, you're like yeah, you feel like you can't do your job properly because, yeah, they just make life so much easier. So my dogs are my good mates. They're not just equipment and that's, that's some people just see them as that, but you got if you want them to really put in 100% for you, you've got to have a bit of love for them there. Yeah. Minute, come here. Come here. Yeah, so a few house dogs running around at home in the yard. Not all mine, I'll make that clear. <laughs> There's Minute, she's an old retired working dog of mum's. Finch. And then mum's got Ginger, a little Australian Finch. terrier, which I bought her for Christmas Minute. a few years ago. And then my Jack Russell Fergie, she's a funny little thing. She spends half her life chasing flies. Fred, Fred, Fred. Freddie's my sister's Jack Russell that was out of the litter that I bred. So please. Yeah, he's a little dude. He's a funny little thing. Tango. No wonder you're so fat. You don't run anywhere. And then Tango, he's a hey. little dash hound that um, I kind of inherited at one of my jobs. Mm. She's pretty cool. She's a bit more indifferent than the Jack Russell. She kind of just hangs around and does her own thing. Very good dog. So before you train a dog, you've got to know, I suppose you've got to know what makes that dog tick. Here, here. Because we know Get a bit over. about bloodlines, where it's come over. from, genetics. Get over. Here, here. I suppose the big one is communication. You've got to be consistent with your commands and know what you want. Here, here. Yeah, I like trainability, something that's not too strong-headed, something that really wants to work with you and um, is smart and learns things quickly. Lily's always had Kelpies. This is going to be the first time she'll be training a Border Collie. Yeah, I'd be excited to try a Collie. That might take a little bit of adapting. Her pack of female Kelpies are all under two years old, so getting another potentially unruly youngster up to speed may prove quite a handful. But her mantra? Failure is not an option.